Now, talking about cancellations, every once in a while you come across a story that proves beyond doubt that cancel culture has been normalised in our society. The story of my next guest is an example of that. Joining me in the studio is my good friend Winston Marshall, co-founder of the band Mumford & Sons and more recently host of the excellent spectator podcast Marshall Matters. Winston, give us the rundown, the the brief synopsis, what happened to you and why? First of all, Father Calvin, thank you so much for having me on your show and happy Christmas. Uh, Well, this is a a while ago now, it's 18 months ago, uh, um, so life has moved on, but uh, I was, as you said, a co-founding member and... um, uh, a member of the band Mumford & Sons for 14 years. Mm-hmm. And uh, in 2021, uh, I tweeted about a book by Andy No, who I believe has been on GB News a few times, uh, which documents the ex- far-left extremism in the United States through 2020. Mm-hmm. And it somehow turned into a huge story. I was forced to apologise, did apologise, but also thought, well, actually, maybe I didn't know the whole story here. Looked into it. I thought I had been right, actually, yes, it was a problem that 19 people had been killed in the first 14 days of the BLM riots. It was a problem, uh, mostly black lives, I should say. Mm. Uh, uh, It was a problem that many businesses were destroyed. So I stood by my original comment and uh, decided the only way forward was for me to leave the band. So that was that story. Um, uh, But I said, 18 months ago, and uh, since been making music with new people and uh, have my new show, The Spectator, Martial Matters. Very good. I won't delve too much on the incident itself, but I want to talk around it. Because you saw this coming, didn't you? We had conversations long before this. You talk about how woke the music industry is and how concerned you are that there's, there's no plurality of views and opinions there. Absolutely. So I would say that the music industry and the creative industries more broadly mm. are... Uh, hold a progressive groupthink. And I think it's absolutely normal that any community would uh, have uh, groupthink of some sort. If it's Even GB News, I'm sure, has its own groupthink. You've riled against the, the BBC for having its own groupthink. If you were in the city, they would presumably be more free market. And it so happens that in the creative industries, and this is linked to personality types... Mm. People are more uh, progressive, I'd say. Not liberal in the old sense, but progressive. Yeah. And so um, th- this became a problem. So, for example, BLM and, and you and I were talking at the time. For those of us who had read the literature on Black Lives Matter, say, for example, the book by Patrice Carton Colors, mm. we knew that this organisation was explicitly Marxist. Mm. If you looked even a cursory glance into BLM, you could see that this was uh, anti-family, anti-Christian, and by anti-Christian, I mean Marxism is an anti-Christian doctrine. Yeah. And so by being explicitly Marxist, we could see that it was anti-Christian. So um, uh, it, it, it was definitely at ends uh, with my own personal beliefs, the, 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 that organisation. Now, most people hadn't read the literature on BLM and it was more a feeling and a mood that was supported without much of a deep dive, although now we've seen with how they spent their money, yeah. 90 million, 30 million on Wall Street, and this is Black Lives Matter, uh, a bunch on uh, their own property portfolios, a, a bunch on trans communities, nothing for black lives, of course. So we could have seen this a mile off, but um, certainly in, in, it was troubling to me in advance, and I, and I, and I, I could feel it from, from a mile off, even whilst I was still in the band, that a lot of these ideas that had contaminated... Um, uh, creative industries uh, were at ends, and, and many of them were bad ideas. We, uh, they were at ends of my own Christian beliefs. Yeah. But the music industry used to be full of rock stars. It used to be full of, full of people that were anti-establishment, would fight against the system, in inverted commas. It seems to me that they're on the side of this system now. They're on the side of the establishment, and they're not standing up for people, normal, everyday folk. But that must be in a conflict with you if you, are, you say you're a man of the faith, the Christian faith. How did your faith help you or hinder you in the creative industry? Well, I've already explained how it was a hindrance in in that uh, by believing things, uh, let's say, like that all humans are created equal, that all of us are fallible, Mm. that ran me into trouble. uh, And and because I had had brought to light some of the downsides of the BLM movement, uh, you know... I would say that it's a pretty cutthroat industry. And so um, 
I, I look back at my, my own time and, and sometimes perhaps I wasn't as Christian as I, as I, as I should have been. So uh, I, I'm not sort of pretending that I'm, I'm in any way... Uh, but that's or, the point of being Christian, isn't it? We're all sinners and none of us are perfect or none of us are holy. Exactly, exactly. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So how did it help you? Throughout your cancellation, did your faith give you any... Uh, Hope. It, well, I mean, for, 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 I was in constant dialogue uh, with with him uh, through that period and, and, and in and out of church. It was a very difficult decision for me to quit the band, um, and I was I was it was it was handing it to him, handing because you know, take in mind that it was my whole adult life I'd been with them, and I and I didn't know life outside of it. So so it was certainly a difficult decision, but it was in in faith in him, but also in the pursuit of of truth, mm. and so. What really bothered my conscience was that I had apologised for something and so I was part of the lie. Mm. And, that, and that was not something that I could stand by and that was really, really bothered me. Had I not be, been made to make that apology, it's, it's unlikely I would have had to leave the band, I think, for conscious reasons. Um, so uh, uh, where I've, my faith has helped me is, is that I've handed it over to him and I have faith in him, but in the pursuit of truth, I... Uh, my life will be m- more f- meaningful, I guess, more, more fulfilled. Absolutely. And he is the way, the truth and the life. Mm-hmm. Uh, 